Number 42. Water gas, a mixture of H2 and CO, is an important industrial fuel produced by the reaction of steam with red-hot coke, especially pure carbon. And then we have letter B. What will happen to the concentration of each reactant and product at equilibrium if more C is added? Okay, so Le Chatelier's principle, we are messing the system up. We are adding more carbon, right? So let's see what's going to happen at equilibrium. Now remember, with Le Chatelier's principle, um, let me say that if you're adding a substance, right? If you're adding a substance, the concentrations are going to change. However, the only ones that matter are the states that are going to be in the K formula, right? And remember, there are only two states that are allowed in that K formula. So gases and aqueous. But here, if we look here, the carbon is being added. And look at the state of the carbon, guys. That was a solid. So... Is this in the KC formula? No, it wasn't. If you look back on uh, letter A, when we did the KC formula, this was not included. No solids are included. So does it have anything to do with equilibrium? If it's not in that equation, it has nothing to do with equilibrium. So I don't care if I add this. I don't care if I get rid of it. It's not going to affect anything. So this one was a trick, guys. We tried to add more carbon, but since this one was a solid and not aqueous or gas, I don't go through Le Chatelier's principle. So it said, what will happen to the concentration of each reactant product? No effect. Nothing will happen. So you could either just say this in general, or you could go through each one of them and say, H2O, no effect. CO, no effect. H2, no effect but it's no effect overall. It would not change the concentrations. And that's it. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in a little bit for part C. Okie dokie. All right, bye-bye.